Hi boys, it's me, Anne. Right now I'm wearing a mask because we are social distancing and we are wearing masks to protect everybody. But I'm gonna take the mask off for a minute so you can see who I am. And now I'm gonna take it off so I can read to you since we're live over a video. On Thursday, it's going to be National Skyscraper Day. So I am going to read to you a book today called The Busy Building Book, and I would like for you to follow along with me in your video. The Busy Building Book is written by Sue Tarski, and the pictures are by Alex A. Life. Here's a picture of all the construction trucks that they use to build skyscrapers. There's a dump truck, there's a mobile crane, there is what's called a flash truck, an excavator, a bulldozer, a backhoe, a cement mixer, a motor scraper, a crawl crane, a skip truck, and the last one is a flatbed truck, which probably mommy or daddy have driven in before, maybe even you have to. Ready, set? Before construction can start, the site is boarded off to keep pedestrians out. The site engineer checks the measurements against the building plans. The construction cabin goes up and working machines arrive. Building materials are delivered and the workers are in their helmets. So they wear safety gear just like we do. They wear helmets on top of their head. Now it's time to excavate. Workers dig a big hole for the foundation or the basement of the building, and the foundation will provide a stable support for the entire building. Look at all of the construction trucks they're using. Looks like they're using almost all of them. Bottom line, boom, slam, boom, slam, kaboom, slam. Mobile cranes lower and steel rods are put into the ground. These rods will be filled with cement and then they will help support the foundation from underneath. Cement mixers churn and turn. There's the cement mixer right there. Going up. After the foundation is done, workers build scaffolding. The scaffolding is a temporary platform for workers to stand on. When they are working high up, pedestrians stand and watch. Do you know what a pedestrian is? Pedestrian are people that walk the streets. These are pedestrians. You and I, when we go walking, and when you would walk with mommy and daddy, are called pedestrians. Higher. Workers take down the scaffolding, and as the building skeleton goes up, the skeleton is made from steel grinders, concrete pillars, and timber joints, and is reinforced with metal rivets and steel. Look at all that work. Look at all those workers. That's a lot of work. Don't look down, though. The skeleton is finished. This is the top floor of the building, and now the workers will start to build outside their walls. For this stage of the construction, the workers install a temporary elevator and set up ladders so they can go from one level to the other. Do you see the ladders that they have? See the metal rivets? Look at all the power tools they're using too. Look at that guy's traveling. Look at all those buildings down there. That could be pretty scary. Floors down and the ceilings up and the workers make floors and ceilings. They spread cement with steel trawlers all over the base of the sand and concrete. See, the wet cement goes down and then they take the steel trawlers and they sand it out and make it look flat. And really nice. Up on the roof, the outside of the building is almost fin finished. Tower cranes hoist window frames into place and workers un roll telephone electric lines, and computer cables. Looks like they're already starting on the interior. Wow, look, 
a lot of people say, boy, that went up fast. Saw, hammer, drills. When the wiring is complete, the electricity can go on and workers put up wooden struts and nails sheets of plasterboard to them. Now there are walls and rooms. Wow, that's what daddy's been doing over at the house, hasn't it? Is he putting up all those walls and he's using, I bet he's using saws and tools and all kinds of stuff when he goes over to the house and builds. Bet you can't wait to see what it's gonna look like, huh? So room at the top, pipes are installed that will allow for central air and running water. Then doors and carpets and ceiling panels are put in and bathroom fixtures too. Wow, that's a lot of work. Look, he's putting in the sink over here. That's what a bathroom fixture means. He means like the sink and the toilet. Those are bathroom fixtures. And the faucet. So moving in, moving in men bring their office furniture. Decorate and hang last minute wallpaper. And now it's time to clean and polish. All done, the building is finished. It's opening day and the owners give big speeches while the office staff listens. They are ready to start working in their new building. Hooray! And the sign out front says, welcome. And it was all put together by all these construction trucks. So that's the book that we read today. Me and Amy will be with you in another video and we'll talk about what the assignment is that you're going to do today. And we'll be with some blocks so that you can build your own skyscraper. Thanks for staying with me.